that men like us after praying we pray day there is no option and you are getting tired what is it with this generation amen 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 i don't know what you think we came to do because this thing this thing that we, we are doing is a lie. I say it's a lie. Pekaka. Kim Pakadika. See. After three hours, my engine has not started. What are we doing? Wait. Do you know what it takes? To travel the sound of revival. When you sit, you hear the sound of revival. You don't know it takes bended knees, traveling in the spirit. I said three hours. My engine did never show. And you are looking for things to do what? Bombe. I am starting my action so that men will pray. Bam, 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 bam. Please, let's stand there again as we celebrate my papa. Ah, did I not hear me? Want to celebrate my own papa? Bye bye, celebrating my. Ah. You have not started. If you did, you say, Father, and you know that you have been blessed. I've been blessed. I've been saved. I've been delivered. Die! Shama, you are not celebrating. Love you, Papa. <laughs> ah, you cannot say it. <laughs> I say we are saying I. <laughs> okay, I love you, Papa. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, sir. I have very, very few minutes here. Oh, thank God. Because. <laughs> No dilemma of sharing. But I'll just say it as it comes to my heart. When the seasons of revival begins to come, or is upon a certain generation, God will begin to look for men.
has happened before. So that means there was something those people did that activated it. And that's what we are also trying to do. But then have we bothered to look at the things that those men did? Rokoso, have you bothered to look at it? Me, I used to fear. Oh. It's, not, it's not going to be easy. Forget that we are shouting it. Some of us, you, we might not even be alive to see it. But me, I don't care. My children can enjoy it. Shoma, you want to see it now? <laughs> you, are, you will see a major. Yes. Because even the apostles, they saw a major before some of them, they started killing them. So when seasons of revival begins to open up to us, to me, the first thing I should start doing is to start studying the things that happened before. Because exactly what happened before is going to repeat itself. Maybe in a different dimension, in a different way, but it's going to be the same thing. And then I'll start looking for myself there. So I can fulfill what I'm supposed to do there. Is it that I say revival? Some of we are shouting it, you have not even found yourself there. You don't know the way you are supposed to be playing there. Even though everybody is supposed to be praying. See, when, when it happened in the book of Acts, do you know that Peter and John, they, they left, others were still there praying. So you, if it starts, you will begin to position yourself so that you not say, hey, so it has started happening, no. You now start writing book. Others are doing the real business, you are writing book. I refuse it. Because I, maybe there is blessing in those for those that wrote the book. Mm. But to me, the reward that God will bring is for men that bought the thing. It's not going to be easy. Me, I've looked at Papa, and I know it's not. It's not going to be easy. So when the hand of God began to move in Acts of the Apostles started resting on certain men then I began to shake started observing what is happening here true true something made it to happen Where I'm going to is Acts chapter 4. I just, I think I have just one thing to show them. Be to say them. Then I will keep up the mic. Now I want you to see. So I picked out one thing in Acts chapter 4. 
But first of all, I was listening to Papa's message and he said that every revival, for every revival, there is a warfare. I say, ah, ah. Even in revival, warfare. Huh. But it's true. Have you ever wondered what happened to you? Since we started evangelism every Sunday, what happened to those people? You think all of them, because you got, we got them baptized in the Holy Ghost, that all of them are um, stable in God. It's a lie. There is a warfare. That's, that's the revival we are talking about, though. One thing is for us to go and, go and preach. Another is to stay on, an, on our knees and insist that those men will stand. That's when you will experience the real warfare. When you begin to intercede on one soul, that that soul will not fail, then you will see how hard it is. You will watch that soul grow. That's when you will feel the pain of traveling. So he said that for every every revival there is a warfare. So I now said, if there is going to be a warfare, that means we will need help. That's why when I began to understand what the apostles normally do, three thousand will be added to them. They will wash back and go and pray, and they will say they continued in prayer. Is you that don't know how long they continued? It's not in one day thing. They will go and stay under the hands of the Holy Ghost. After the first 3,000 in chapter 3, the Bible said, Now, so there was a certain season that passed that these men stayed under the hands of the Holy Ghost. That the Bible now said, Now, Peter and John was able to heal a man that was limp from birth. I started checking that this thing has happened before. They went again, got 5,000 through their preaching. Do you know the question that was asked them? A certain group of people in the temple, you know, all those over Sabine. That knows very well. The priests, uh, Sahendrins, scribes, they ask them a question. They ask them, by what power or authority did you do this thing? I said, This, you see that question? They have asked Jesus that same question before. By what authority? Did he do what he did? So when revival breaks out, patients will be asked you by what authority or by what name, by what power. Your faith will be shaking very well. Bro Victor, by what name? By what authority? You will be shaken to the core. Some gave up along the way. So when they asked Jesus that question, he did not reply. He asked them, he threw back a question to them. And asked them, by what power is John doing his own? But when the apostles were asked that question, they said, in the name of Jesus. What you don't know is that that 5,000 that came to, that believed, is a contention. The 3,000 that repented first, these people say, oh yeah, let's keep quiet. And then, you know, those people, they can study very well. 
they will go back to know whether this thing has happened before. That's why they started fighting it immediately. 5,000 now repented again. They said, Jesus, if you read that place very well, what the Bible said was just 5,000 men. Women and children was not mentioned. Jesus has done a miracle or, or rather um, preached to 5,000 and fed 5,000 before. You don't know what that thing did. It's a, a, a repetition of something that has happened before. 5,000 men was added. They said these people have come again. We must hold them. When they threw them in prison and let that they release them. Do you know what they went and did? I just started looking at that prayer they made. You know, when you read that, you said that they prayed and where they were praying shook. It was a prayer of warfare that they made. Help show me that place. Go down, go, 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 go. Verse 24. Are we there? And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which had made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the hidden rage which kind of prayer is this one is you that don't understand that those people that you preach to you need to fight for to to keep them it's only you that think that satan is happy that you collected somebody imagine five thousand five thousand living his his hold in one day if you see won't you fight and you just got one soul and you just left that person like that one month two months you ne it's a lie i don't me unless i've not opened this my mouth to preach to you i will carry your name i'll write it on it i'll paste it on the wall every night it's a lie that's how we keep souls for god you just preach and you say i preached i preached i preached i Please, I want so for God. You have not won anybody. Yes, because what Satan needs is just is just one message to collect that person back. Winning the soul is one thing. The next one is on your knees, warfare. I see on your knees, warfare. See those small, small children that I just got. 22 of them you are there every night you cannot escape me me that's how revival will spread as small as they are they have already gone they said we saw people fighting i just called them i preached to them i got them baptized in the holy ghost and now we are praying in our compound that's what i'm looking for let me just get you back. I will now stay in my room. You will know what is happening to you. Is now this one. Do you have do you even have the list of the names of people that you have preached to? I don't want to go territory. I don't have be, I, because you see, eh, there is one soul that you can win. Inside that one soul is, is territories locked in. That's what I'm looking for. So if I enter, I don't plan to preach to everybody. I'll just be looking. I'll be searching. Let me just find one person. Let me get you. Even if you want to escape, I will not allow you. So when you get that person, you start the warfare now. Nah? That's where the reward lies, truly. Why will Apostle Paul yet say that he travels in bed again? Why? These are people that he has mentored. These are 
his children. But he knows that if he should leave these ones, my work is in vain. Satan can just take them anytime. So we we must by all means as we are crying for revival it's not going to be a magic it's still going to be humans can you can you stay on your knees because of one so one year you can stay on one soul for one year. Some of us will get weary. What you don't know is that Satan also knows the capacity that is locked up in that one person. You see your brother, you see your sister, you see your cousin, you see them, they are just anyhow. Where are you looking for the revival? I don't understand. Where are you looking for it? Where do you want it to happen? In the blues. It's going to start in your family. Just look around. Like, it's not far. It's not far. We, are, we have to share, we have to make a new, a new um, resolution. If you have to start writing their names down, write it down. Take 30 minutes every night and pull on their head. You don't know the effect. In one minute, just bend your head and ask God for grace. 